Hello everyone! This video demonstrates how to categorize images and exposure. We will use color labels, flags, and star ratings, and we'll use them to sort or search to locate specific images fast. For the lesson in this video, we are using our award-winning photo editing and organizing application, Exposure. If you don't already own it, you can download the free trial from our website. It's easy to find a specific photo in a library of organized images. Categorizing images is a foundational part of keeping organized. Classification systems can get complex, but flags, star ratings, and color labels keep searching through a library of images simple. When performing photo organizing tasks like these, use the culling workspace in Exposure to arrange the panels and streamline your workflow. Flags are useful when culling or editing the collection by removing unusable shots. Photos start out unflagged and can be flagged as pick or reject. Click the flag icon on the photo to mark the image as a pick. Click it again to mark a reject. Click again to remove the flag. To set a specific flag, right-click the flag icon and select from the menu. The keyboard can be used to set flags on the selected image. Press the plus key to flag as pick. Press minus to flag reject. Press minus again to toggle the flag off. Combine this with the arrow keys to quickly navigate around the grid flagging images. Holding shift advances to the next image after a flag is assigned. Holding shift and then press plus and it will open the next image. Keyboard shortcuts and shortcut key combos are particularly useful when culling images. Zoom in to see the entire image by double-clicking. Then use Shift Plus and Shift Minus to quickly process the entire photo session. There is a full list of keyboard shortcuts on our website. The list is accessible from Exposure's Help menu. Exposure's keyboard shortcuts are all configurable, so they can be set to work with your preferences. Star ratings are for marking how strong a particular photo is. Exposure's stars have a range of 0 to 5. Click the stars icons on the photo to set the star rating. Click it again to clear it. Star ratings can be assigned with a keyboard too. Use the keys 0 through 5 to set that many stars on the selected photo. Pressing the 3 key assigns a 3 star rating. Holding down shift advances to the next image with star ratings too. Hold down shift and press 4 to move to the next image and so on. This method is helpful to cull large shoots very quickly. Color labels can be used to tag images for various activities. Use them to locate which images are client picks, or which to use in an album, or for social media, or for other needs. There are five labels available, red, blue, yellow, green, and purple. Set a color label by clicking the label control on the photo. Cycle to the next color with each click. Jump to a particular color through the right-click menu. It's even easier to use the keyboard to set a color label. Press 6 for red, 7 for yellow, 8 for green, and 9 for blue. There's no keyboard shortcut for purple in the default configuration. With ratings set, you can use them as selection criteria with shortcut keys. Hold down Option and press 4. This selects all four-star images in the selected folder. This also works with flags and colors. Press Option and Plus to select all images marked as picks. Images can also be selected and deselected using other metadata. Select from a list of useful criteria to quickly narrow searching. When choosing images in the grid, there are three behaviors of selection. Click to select an image. Shift-click selects everything between the current selected image and the next image that you shift-click on. This works great for selecting a lot of images. Command-click toggles the selection on or off. That would be Control-click on Windows. Apply these same selection commands to entire groups of images by clicking, shift-clicking, or command-clicking on the group headers. 
Any selection can be inverted, which deselects all the selected images and selects all unselected images. A simple example of this would be to select all images that are rated anything other than zero. First, select all images that do have a rating of zero and then press Command U to invert the selection. You can filter the view so that only certain images are displayed. Setting a filter affects the current folder and subfolders as long as the Include Subfolders option is on. The filter controls are located in the toolbar below the grid. To filter your display to only show pick images, click the pick flag. Click the pick flag again to turn the filter off, which displays all images again. Filters can be saved as workflow presets for use again later. Click the gear on the left side of the toolbar, then select Save as New Preset from the menu. To use a filter preset, click the gear icon and select it from the menu. Exposure comes with default presets like the Hide Rejects preset, which only shows images that are flagged or unflagged. To clear the applied filter, press Command O. Windows users, Control O. Filtering by star ratings is a little different. Choose a number of stars and exposure will show photos that have that many or more stars. Click the comparison symbol to filter by the exact number of stars or the same number and fewer. Clear the filter with Command O again or Control O on Windows. Next, filter by color labels. Click the red swatch on the toolbar to show only images with red labels. Add yellow labels and green labels easily. Select the key icon to apply a keyword filter. Image metadata can be used to filter images from your view. A wide variety of criteria can be used, including camera make, model, lens type, exposure time, ISO, and more. Personal info in the metadata panel, like copyright, name, email, address, can also be used to filter images. Also, collections and keywords. If you have a large folder of images, it can be useful to specify the order they appear. The file name is used to sort by default. Alternatively, categories like flags and star ratings can be used, or metadata like camera make or model, lens, capture time, and more. When sorting by capture time, photos taken earlier are at the top and the latest captured are at the bottom. Reverse the sort order by clicking the arrows next to the sort menu. Now, early images are at the bottom and later images are at the top. The techniques we covered in this video are useful solutions for keeping photos organized and easy to locate later. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more editing tutorials and additional information about how to use exposure. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel on YouTube for updates of our latest video content.